kind Sheikh, can you comment on Turkey's role in the events which are now unfolding? I don't think that uh, I don't think that uh, 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 his name is Erdogan. It's pronounced as Erdogan, uh, um, spelled as Erdogan, but the pronunciation is Erdogan, the prime, the president of of Turkey. Um, I don't trust him because he played a leading role in the events of Libya to overthrow the government of Libya so that NATO now controls Libya. That's what he did and therefore I don't trust him. The Prophet said a Muslim does not put his foot in the same hole twice. So I don't trust him and Russia should not trust him. He's now had a referendum I don't know how bogus the referendum was, no. I don't have the knowledge. But he's now going to become the emperor. He has the powers now in Turkey to do what he wants to do. And of course the, the master plan is to try to recover the Ottoman Empire, Islamic, so-called Islamic Empire, which requires Turk, uh, Turkey to expand its territory. What I can say is that the policies of the Turkish government at this time is leading Turkey without doubt to civil war. When that civil war takes place, I believe it is that civil war which will eventually culminate in the conquest of Constantinople. The very name Constantinople cannot be used today in Turkey. No, they banned, they banned the use of the word Constantinople because they don't want people to know about the Hadith. When Nabi Muhammad والسلام, came back from the Isra and Miraj, he came back to tell us that after the Great War, in which 99 out of every 100 who fight in that war would be killed. After that great war, he said the next event which is to take place is the conquest of Constantinople. And he praised the army. And he praised the commander. al Constantinia, he said. Those were his words. If the Prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him, refers to the city by the name Constantinople, then is it not Sunnah to use that name? But they've changed it. And they went back in history to an old name, Istanbul. And now Constantinople is no more used. But when we conquer the city of Constantinople, goodbye to NATO. Goodbye. We'll return the city to the old name. Yes, it will be known as Constantinople once again. And the entire Orthodox Christian world will be smiling and happy. And when we conquer Constantinople, we return Hagia Sophia, the Christian cathedral, which functioned as the major Orthodox Christian cathedral for 1,000 years before the Ottoman Turks conquered the city and took that cathedral and made it into a masjid to the eternal shame and disgrace of the world of Islam. No, we return that cathedral to the Christians. We say, this is your cathedral. We will apologize to them for what was done in taking a Christian cathedral and shamefully and disgracefully converting it into a masjid. There are people in Turkey who will listen to me and they have not been bought and sold like cattle by the government of Turkey. No, they have their hearts in the right places and they're recognizing that what I'm speaking is the truth. The conquest of Constantinople will take place after the Great War. 
And then at that time, it is an alliance of Muslims and Christians. The two people who wait for the return of Jesus, these two people, Muslims and Orthodox Christians, we are the ones who liberate the Holy Land. And the Prophet of Allah, Nabi Isa Islam, will then rule the world with Imam al-Mahdi, inshallah, and justice will triumph over injustice and oppression. And truth will triumph over all rivals.